Hello and welcome back to Pharmacomania. I'm Dr. Shahnaz Malik with uh, one of the parameters of pharmacokinetic, it is absorption. So, what pharmacokinetic is derived from two word pharmacon, meaning drug, and kinesis means movement of the drug. In short, it uh, what the body does to the drug. There are four parameters like absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of the drug. All these process involved in movement of the drug molecule through the various biological membrane. After ingestion of the drug, drug absorbed from the intestinal mucosa and get distributed in the various part of the or various compartment of the body. And after distribution, drug get metabolized and last uh, parameter is the elimination of the drug from the body. So what is absorption? All biological membrane are made up of the lipid bilayer and drug crosses various biological membrane by the following mechanism like uh, passive diffusion, filtration and specialized transport like active transport and facilitate transport or facilitate diffusion. These are the various mechanism of absorption. So absorption uh, is there are the various mechanism like uh, passive diffusion passive diffusion it is by directional process the drug molecule move from the region of the higher concentration to the lower concentration until the equilibri equilibrium is attained the rate of diffusion is directly proportional, proportional to the concentration gradient across the membrane lipid soluble drug are transported across the membrane by passive diffusion it does not require any kind of man energy or any carrier next uh, mechanism is the filtration it is the uh, filtration depend on the molecular size and weight of the drug if the drug molecule are smaller than the pores they are filtered easily through the membrane now specialized uh, transport in this kind of uh, transportation some kind of energy or carrier protein is required so first is the active transport and second one is the facilitated transport so in active transport the drug molecule move from the region of the lower to higher concentration against the concentration gradient it required energy transport of the sympathomimetic amine into the neural tissue transport of the choline into the cholinergic now ending and absorption of the levodopa from the intestinal membrane these all are the example of the active transport so uh, in active transport required energy now second specialized transport is the facilitate diffusion in this type of the carrier mediated transport there, there is no requirement of energy but the drug is attached to the carrier and in the membrane which facilitate diffusion across the membrane the transport of the molecule is from the region of the higher to lower concentration the example is transport of glucose across the muscle cell membrane by transporter glute glute is the carrier protein and uh, glucose is crossing the muscle fiber through glute so protein is required for transportation of the glucose molecule what is bioavailability it is measures of fraction of administered dose of the drug that is reaches in systemic circulation in unchanged form so bioavailability of intravenous injection is 100% because drug is reaches into its circulation 100% oral injection uh, oral ingestion of bioavailability is low due to drug may incompletely absorbed or absorbed drug may undergoes first pass metabolism in the intestinal wall, liver, or by um, excreted in bile. Incomplete bioavailability after subcutaneous or intramuscular injection due to local binding of it may be occur due to local binding of the drug. Now, factor affecting absorption as well as bioavailability of the drugs are physicochemical properties of drug root of drug administration ph and ionization of drug food interaction and presence of other drug or drug interaction and area of the absorbing surface 
and gastrointestinal or other diseases. These all factor are affecting absorption as well as bioavailability of the drug. Now physicochemical properties of the drug like uh, physical state, the liquid form of the drug is better absorbed than the solid formulation. Now and lipid soluble and unionized form of the drug is better absorbed than the water soluble and ionized form of the drug. Now particle size, the drug with smaller size of particle are absorbed better than the larger one. Microfine, aspirin, digoxin and grisofluin are well absorbed from the intestinal uh, mucosa and produce better effect. When uh, anthelminthic have uh, larger particle size and they absorb poorly through the intestinal mucosa. Now in disintegration time is the time taken for the formulation like tablet or capsule to break down into small particles and its variation may affect the bioavailability. Dissolution is the time taken for the particle to go into the solution and shorter the time better is the absorption. Formulations uh, like uh, pharmacological inner substance like lactose, starch, calcium, sulfate, gum are added to formulation and binding agent. These are not totally inert and may affect the absorption of the drug. Now second is the route of drug administration. Intravenous route is bypass the process of absorption and directly reaches into the systemic circulation. Some drugs are highly polar compound ionized in the solution and are not absorbed through the gastrointestinal tract and hence they are uh, given parenterally like gentamicin and uh, like insulin are administered parenterally because they degraded by the intestinal um, enzymes and should not be given orally. Now first pass metabolism. What is first pass metabolism? First pass metabolism or pre-systemic elimination. When drugs are administered orally, they have to pass via gut wall, portal vein, liver system and circulation. During this passage, certain drug get metabolized or removed in or inactivate before they reaches into the systemic circulation. This, this process, process is known as first pass metabolism. The net result is decrease in bioavailability of the drug and diminish the therapeutic purpose or therapeutic response. So drug like the lignocaine and isoprenaline having high first pass metabolism. So this kind of drug should be given parenterally. So now consequences of the first pass metabolism. Extensive first pass metabolism. So this kind of drug should be administered parenterally. Lignocaine is administered intravenously in ventricular arrhythmia. The dose of the drug required for the oral administration is more than uh, given by the systemic route like nitroglycerin. pH and ionization. Uh, strongly acidic drug like heparin and strongly basic drug like aminoglycoside remain ionized in uh, all pH. So they are poorly absorbed and excreted unchanged form. So this kind of drug should be um, given parenterally. Food, uh, presence of food in the stomach can affect the absorption. Food decrease the absorption of uh, rifampicin, levodopa and they should be taken empty stomach for better effect. Milk and milk product decrease the absorption of the tetracycline and fatty milk increase the absorption of the cristofulvin. Presence of other drug like concurrent administration of two or more drugs may affect the absorption of uh, drug like ascorbic acid increase the absorption of the iron. When antacid uh, reduce the absorption of the iron as well as tetracycline. And area of absorb, uh, absorbing surface is drug is better absorbed in the intestinal mucosa because larger surface area. Now gastrointestinal and other diseases that affect the bioavailability as well as absorption of the drug. Uh, in intestine, uh, gastroenteritis increase the peristaltic movement uh, that uh, decrease the absorption of the drug. In achlorhydria, the absorption of iron from the gut is reduced because uh, iron need acidic medium for the absorption of the iron. In congestive heart failure, there is a gastrointestinal mucosal edema occurs, which reduces the absorption of the drug. And in hepatic diseases, they result uh, decrease in drug metabolism and increase bioavailability of the drug and undergoes first pass metabolism. So reduce the bioavailability drug like propranolol and lignol. 
Now, enterohepatic cycle, some drug excreted via the bile, but after reaching in intestine, they reabsorb from uh, liver, bile, intestine, and cycle is uh, repeatedly going on, and it is called enterohepatic circulation. It increases the bioavailability and duration of action of the drug. An example are morphine and doxycycline. Thank you for watching the video.